That's all the kids were so close to you. It's just you, Nick. It's not that warm at all. That's no, it's really not. Yeah. Hey there, beer tubers. Welcome back to the Venus. Shit Bucket Manor. <laughs> Welcome back to Maxwell Stars Beer Reviews. Here tonight at, of course, the Manor, we've got Mr. Ashley Sexton. We've got Chris from Off the Tenth. We've got Redbeard. What? He's going Kitter. down. Yep. And of course, we've got Greg. I'm here to cause trouble. Woo! Woo! We told her All right, so business. we're actually doing a beer from Flying Monkeys, and I bought this fresh in North Bay. Not that fresh. Uh, April 18th, 20, uh, uh, April 20th, 18th? Flying Monkeys in North Bay. Oh, it's like 2019, and anyway, whatever. We we tried to stop this is the, the famous, the epic, triple IPA from Flying Monkeys called Sparkle Puff Intergalactic Starfighter. Yay! Yeah, 10.2% 10. 10. ABV, uh, exploring realms of the deep, dank space with the rule of three in its DNA. Sparkle Pop launches a payload of smashed summer peaches for cushions of fierce, faulty fluff behind a force field of hops. Three times dry hopped, triple the hop flavor, and price the aroma, the 10.2% uh, ABV of this unfiltered adventure glimmers with the epic glory of Sparkle Puff, Galaxy Starfighter, Defender of the Universe. Yeah. Let's go, Voltron Force! Jesus, Yay. quite the fucking story on that one. Alrighty, yeah, so I rolled this up. is a bit of bit too. Now, everybody here in behind me has had this at least That's once true. before. This is my first time having it. Many times. So, they want me to... You're pouring last. Is that the temperature yeah. in here? 25 I'm getting, degrees? Yeah, yeah it's, 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 it's fucking warm. I don't find right. it that well, warm, but I'm in shorts and a t-shirt, so... 25 is gonna be warm. Nick, how come you always ripping your shirt? What happened with that? I hit the bed. He was feeling. You were there, there, man. I know. I just wanted to tell and it on camera. Your glass. No, I'm not telling it on camera right people. now. They need to know. Okay. Now. Thank you, sir. This is the famous part of Sparkle Chunks having Sparkle Puff, <laughs> is the fact that if you do this, then there's a whole bunch of shit at the bottom of this can. Yeah, it's not that bad. A little snow globy. The, the last can I had was. The chunks were getting like freakishly big and scary looking. <coughs> Those are some, of there's some globs like hop resins and stuff like that. Those that unfiltered it's chunks. Not that bad. Yeah, I, it's, I've heard, I've seen pictures of you guys having yeah. this beer before, and it, it it looked a whole lot worse than this. Yeah, yours isn't bad. But no. it's not that bad. You got pretty. Good. I, I mean, even though what I've seen from you guys looks a little excessive, but that doesn't. Well, take apparently, what Mr. Sediment. Sexton tells well, us depends yeah, like, where they bottled it from. As long as you can't the feel the yeah. sediment in yeah, your like mouth. part of the tank. Yeah. That's the only thing. Like, if, if I feel chunks in my mouth while I'm drinking a beer, that's pretty fucking yeah. gross. Other than, oh, shit. Yeah. Other than that, that's pretty milky, hazy. I didn't get a lot of head on mine, but you did. I feel like I got shafted from a fucking beer. Well, I don't, I don't <laughs> think all of my glasses are this clean. Yeah, so. I caught it up a little bit. Dirty yeah. Glass Mafia. Nice. nice. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. We're, we're, we're all about really want... swapping fluids here. Yeah. Talk to that uh, up, paper towel thing I asked. Well, let's shut right. up, Greg. Yeah. All right, so look at that. Nice, like almost like banana orange kind of thing. Yeah, smoothie space. going on. Mine's chunky. It's hazy. I got it the chunks. Is, oh, you did get chunks. Oh yeah, I, I got chunks. You always, more, you always get the chunks in your. The thing. chunks always find me. <laughs> All righty. Oh, well, there you are. They seek right. you out. Let's, Let's give it away. My wife is. Stick it in your nose, Greg. Yes, master. Ooh. Stick it in your nose. This is a pithy, month old. pithy, juicy aroma. Yeah. Bit of like 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 orange juice. Slight it's slight like hints that it's like a little bit on the powerful side. Yeah, you can definitely yeah. tell it's not like a oh, session IP or something. You can totally tell no, it's twenty percent. You can tell it's yeah. you can tell it's pretty tough, but I mean, 20%. it's it's got this nice like lightly pithy tannic orange juice kind of taste. It's kind of they, they made Invictus. Good. I want to see them make like a twenty percent friggin' IPA now. They get mango. Like, something like like a little mango, a little, mango, little sweet orange, like like, tan, like tangerine. A little, mm -hmm. a little of that, that fusel yes, alcohol. Kind of smells like a cat. I already smells like some on the floor too, so. <laughs> you know, they, they could, they could like, really take like this, Simcoe. like the cat piss there hops. Be, there thing. might be some co hops in this. Yeah, maybe. I don't know, maybe. A, All right, let's for cheers. down. I already drank the some. Cheers to the fuckers. Hatch. Oh, woo! Yep, I spilled oh, some. Oh, yeah. Oh, good, you spilled some too. I don't feel bad about it now. Some a little. Being all over my fucking phone. Almost. Let's just lick that up. Hey, that's not bad. That's really smooth. Like considering what this is, like a that's triple IPA a lot of pineapple. Used time. to this weird fucking glass. Like yeah, a mm. bit of difference mm. weird style. Like on the sip, yeah, like tons of pineapple. There's, there's pineapple there's and mango. Big ass spider over here. Yes. Come spider. That's, that's an albino spider. Smash him. 
Oh, but you can't good. smash no, him. No, it's an albino spider. It's already you supposed to rain at the fest. We gotta fucking. Why are you using dance? my sunglasses to pick that off the floor? Because it's this what is I totally did. not being edited out. Nope. <laughs> Nick doesn't do jokes. I can't catch it. It's on my shoe now. This is terrible. Oh, now it's your fault. So, all right. I don't know where it went. Yeah, like lots of tropical fruits. Shut up, Greg. Hi. Tropical fruit, pineapple. Tropical fruit. Oh, Mr. Sparkle Puff, here we go. This Thank video you. is about shit. <laughs> All right, so moving it along, that's that's got a lot of that's got a load of tropical, dank, juicy flavors. Yeah, uh, it's quite quite enjoyable. But yeah, you're right with like the the, the, the I'm getting a, like like pineapple passion fruit. Huge there's, pineapple head on the front. There's a sweetness to it that makes you think that it's like all of the pa- like all of the tropical fruits like over ripened. You know what I mean? It's just mm. like everything is like over ripened. It's just a little on the sweet side, right? Yeah, it's definitely on the sweet side. Yeah. I don't know. I like that. That's that's really nice. And I'm even right. at ten point one percent, it doesn't really taste that much different than your own your standard double IPA. Ten point two. 10.2%? Oh, 10.2%. I 10.2 said 10. is a good percent. <sighs> Alright. Um, yeah, no, it's not bad. I would I would get that again, and I'm not really that offended by the chunks nah, at the bottom. You're going to find that while you're sleeping. You'll find that when the more... Alright. The only thing now I'm going to say while Nick's stick in his last sip there is that this... It depends, like Ashley was saying, it depends on where they're filling this, the cans up from because there's different variants mm. of how much sparkly chunks there are in each can. I'll tell you right now. Do the I sparkles about, actually make, do the chunks actually make it worse or better though? No, no, no it doesn't make a difference. It's, it's, just, it's, it's, just, it's just whether you get the, the, the can from the top of the tank or the bottom of the tank. Yeah, I mean, like and all the sediment in the in those is are heavy enough, they settle to the bottom of the tank. So it totally makes sense that that, la- that last... Yeah. Ten percent of the beer with all the chunk is it going into cans. It makes you wish cans. they would have stirred it. Well, yeah, but like in a lot of people's yeah. opinions, you know, they like they, they, they buy a beer, they yeah, buy, say they buy yeah, one with no chunks. I suppose that's. The, I don't take I don't take points away for that, but no. I mean I get it. As long as it tastes good, but again, I'm just saying, like for someone who doesn't know that kind of thing, they buy one that's clear, looks and, fine, and you, and and you, you buy one full of chunks, and you think it's off. I'll say this though: every single one I've ever had has always been chunky. So from a consistency standpoint, it's fucking consistent. This is the first one I, the first one I had was with zero chunks. Not really? a single yeah, chunk. Yeah, actually, I, I got one when they first came out, also zero chunks. It was it was hazy, but it was it was yeah, not that's this. Because you got the top of the tank, and and right now this one isn't isn't as bad as we've seen other people's. Yeah, that's, well, yeah that, that's what I'm saying. That the whole inconsistency thing, it, it's kind it's kind of weird, but it's the not beer a beer, itself is it's so not good. a beer for somebody that's new into drinking some hazy IPA that's over ten percent, and then. You know, be like, oh, this looks like shit. Imported from Canada by yeah, Escher. Sure. So that's the thing. They made one can yeah, for all markets. Yeah, I suppose. Yeah, for all markets. Anyway, yeah, I like it. Um, I can't remember. Yeah, I, I mean, I, it, it's it's it, it's deceptive in the quality. I find it. It just tastes like just your like as far as the body goes. It does. It drinks like a normal double IPA, but it's a lot heavier than even that. Yeah. And if they wanted to, they could probably turn this into something like a, a dank, juicy. Well, the next generation of it into a dank, juicy like dogfish head one twenty or something like that, where it's even even no, heavier. It's not, no, it's not quite there. You don't. Well, chew, no, you I'm don't not. Chew I, the beer. No, no, no. You're not listening. I'm talking about they could turn this into something like that when you're going back on something you <laughs> said. Where they can. Angry. Fuck. All right. Fine. Um, <laughs> Nick, you didn't ask me my score. I don't. I don't care what your score is. I, do, I give it an eight out of ten. It's good. It's we're not amazing. I think I originally gave it a ten. Because I really liked it, but this yeah, particular, I, 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 I give that, this like an 8.5. All right, I, I'll give I that gave, a, I gave it like a 9.5 the first time I scored it. A 9.5 or a 10, I can't remember, and yeah, it's not as good. But that could just it, be me. It's, I don't yeah, know. again, I, I'm not just, maybe just right now, I'm not totally... All right, all right, all right. I'm going to give this a 4.0 4. out of 5. What no, you rates stuff out of 5, you monster. Out of, no, it's on his channel, so out of 5, I'm, I'll give this a 4.5. That's what yeah. I'm doing. Five or five. Yeah, four point two five. Four point two five. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Thanks. For, thanks for watching Maxwell Stars Beer Review of Beer Review. Sparkle Puff, Galaxy Starfighter from Flying Monkeys. He's so drunk he can't talk. See you in 2020. Bye. You're, you're, you're so. Peace out. You're so drunk you won't Goodbye. shut up. Bye.